Hey guys, Dan here with Chief Experts. I want to talk a little bit about the virtual reality function in Chief Architect. Version 11 now, this has got, they've got a new function in version 11 where you can use the hand controller to navigate through the plan. It's really simple to get hooked up. Once you have your, H, this is the HTC Vive that we're using, and you're going to use the software that comes with the Vive to hook it up to your computer. And of course, you'll have all the other 3D games that you can use. But with Chief Architect, it's really easy. All you do is, after you've got the Vive working on your computer, you just go to the software, and you're going to bring up a 3D view. So you're going to bring up a 3D view on the screen, and then you're going to go to the 3D menu, the 3D pull-down menu, and you're going to click on that, and you're going to go to virtual reality. Okay, so you're going to click that, and then this menu will come up. All right, and you have a few options that you can do with the, the virtual reality. Uh, you can change some of the colors of a few things, and, and there's not much to do. All you have to do is start toggle virtual reality. Turn that, turn it on. I'm going to move this out of the way, and I got to get the headset between the controllers. So when you set up your Vive, you're going to have controllers set up in each corner, and they're going to be well, the room that we're in right now is too big, so we used a ladder to define the space. Uh, we found that the, the controllers need to be 16 feet apart. Uh, there were some settings that we didn't really get into. Maybe you could put it in a bigger room, but uh, it has to be that. So you'll have your headset, you'll have a controller, and I won't be able to show you what I see in the headset. It's going to be a little different than what you see on the screen, but the cool thing is people, you can be watching what people are seeing on your computer screen. So when, when we put the headsets on, I'm going to have my brother Doug put the headset on, and then I'm gonna, he's going to take the, the wand, and his wand has a trigger on it, and what's going to happen, if Peter could point at the screen. Peter, could you point at the screen? <clears throat> so my brother, so Doug's going to hold the controller, and he's taking that, not, and he's taking and pointing that dot on the controller to where he wants to go. So Doug, why don't you walk up the library there? So he's, he's not actually walking. So Peter, why don't you show how, how he kind of looks here? So you see, he doesn't really have to move, uh, but he can. He's turning around, and as he turns around, it's what he's seeing, but he can walk forward and back. And in this case, we have a little, uh, about a 10 or 8 by 10 carpet that uh, kind of defines the area that he can actually walk around in. He can bend up, look down, and all he's doing is pointing the green dot to where he wants to go and clicking the trigger. Once you walk into the house, Doug, if you go find the door, just point the, uh, point the dot toward the door. So he's going to walk up the sidewalk. So the program's sensing the heights, and he's taking to the height. Now he's putting the dot right at the door. He could actually stick his hand through the door if he wanted to. And he could actually walk through the door. <laughs> so there he is, walking into the house, walking in the kitchen. He can look up, he can look around uh, and see what's going on. And, and it's pretty fluid, it's not bad. And the, the rendering is pretty good. So, God, it's, just, it's gonna be a great way for you to show your clients their, the project that you're working on for them. Walk into the kitchen, Doug and walk between the counter. Actually, put the cursor on the counter. Put the dot on the counter. And right now, he's standing on the counter looking down uh, into the sink and all that. So now he can jump down to the floor. Jump down next to the stove. And, oh, careful of the cord there. Yeah. Now, uh, bend over, bend down and look at the stove. Yeah, get right in front of it there. You see, you can walk right up to it. Now, if you look, kind of look down. Oops, you're right into it now. If you can get in front of it, you actually see the word wolf on the bottom of the stove. Yeah, it, it, we must have the tracking off a little bit, so he's not able to get quite to it. But, but you see the word right down. If you bend down and look down there, you got to actually go down there. So you're still a little too close. There you go, go down. Now you can actually see the word wolf. So you can see uh, how that works. And we, we could actually open cabinet doors and things like that, and you could look into the cabinets. So you could have a lot of fun with this with your clients as you're working on the design. So anyway, that's really all there is to it. It's pretty slick. It's a very simple uh, addition to Chief Architect. The wand function is new in X11, so uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. So give it a try. I think you'll have fun. This is Dan with Chief Experts. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.